Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a well overdue home updates video. I feel like since the renovation series, I've not really fully walked you through where we're at and kind of brought you up to speed with things in terms of our house. So today I wanted to bring you that video finally. I was kind of waiting for a few snagging things to be done time that I can tidy the entire house and I just thought you know what scrap that let's not sugarcoat it let's just show you a bit of reality so excuse any mess any chaos here there and everywhere especially downstairs I'm just going to show you where we're at and just give you the video that I feel has been well overdue before I jump into sharing with you a bit of a walkthrough of where we're at I have a couple of bits actually from Zara home and H&M home just a couple of things I thought I would show you I do actually have loads of home sense bits something from John Lewis as well I'll save that oh and the white company okay i'll show you them towards the end of the video but for now i'll just share with you the bits that i have got from h&m home and zara home so firstly h&m home i picked up two things this one i think i might have to send back right so i've been after some trays for downstairs seeing as though you'll see in a second we don't really have a table that we can eat from or anything so we're back to kind of eating on our laps which i'm fine with but it does mean that you know like it can be a bit higgledy piggledy and I thought I'm gonna keep my eyes out for some nice trays lap trays so I found this lacquered one from H&M which I love the look of except it's actually a gray I thought this is gonna be a white which would have been a great white company dupe because they have one in white but the fact that it's a really light gray and you guys know I'm not really like a gray person I'm more of a stone warmer beige toned creamier kind of gal so because of that, I think I'm going to send that one back. I did get quite a few um, fashion-y bits, which not enough to do a haul, hence why I'm showing you the homeware bits here. I'm going to do the fashion bits over on my Instagram Reels and TikTok, so stay tuned for that if you want to see what clothes bits I got from H&M, including this, actually. This um, top, like, cardigan is from H&M. I really, really like it. A big fan. I love the big sleeves. And then I've just got my leggings on from All Neutrals. This is Aisha and Zellia's brand. If you've seen it, great quality. I love them. The other thing that I picked up from H&M is this. I'll leave all these items linked below and everything so that if you want to shop them, you can. This is like a sculpture piece that I thought would look nice styled up on like a coffee table book. Or this is the thing that I want to do. And I'll talk you through this when I show you around the house. But I need... That's my phone. I need to style up areas a bit more, so I'm still yet to do all of that. And it's probably something that I'll do within YouTube, as well as like TikTok and things. So yeah, I thought I'd pick up this for that. The only thing is with this, is there is a little scuff here. There's a little mark there, and then also on this side at the top, there's a little mark. Don't know if it adds to it, or if it would annoy me. And I maybe replace it and send it back and try and try get a new one, a replacement. And then from Zara Home, I picked up some homeware bits, which I'm so in love with. I've had a quick sneak peek of all of these, um, and I'm really, really happy with them. So I think I'm keeping everything from this. So the first thing is this photo frame. Definitely in need of more, like I was saying, with styling spaces up. Some more personalized touches, making it you know our house at home with some photos black and white ones i've had printed out to go with the decor i just loved the thickness the kind of antiqued aged look to this it is black as well but it's a nice kind of charcoal oh, i just love that nice kind of charcoal black and then this one in comparison for size same size photo frame or photo insert but the uh frame itself is slightly smaller so it's got a really beautiful kind of fluted ribbed design in this gorgeous cream and black. And then I also got, speaking of cream, I got this reed diffuser. Love Zara Home fragrances. I actually am tempted to get one of the huge Zara Home candles. I think they're about five or six wick and you can just kind of sit them on a coffee table and just have them burn. Because I've been burning through my white company winter one which is a three wick one and i'm fairly well i'm basically at the end of it 
and I just feel like I need a bigger one to replace it. Anyway, this, oh, just, Zara just makes me so happy. They're a natural kind of colored reed. That's the little ceramic top. I feel like I need to get it out so that you can actually see what it looks like. The little ceramic lid top thing that it comes with. The actual product citrus infusion i feel like citrus infusion oh it's sealed up i'm gonna leave it sealed up for now i feel like it's gonna be real lemony which will be nice in a kitchen or a bedroom or a bathroom actually and um, this is the ceramic pot that it sits in i just think it's beautiful on the front it's got citrus infusion but you could easily just switch that around if you wanted a plain cream i really like that font though so i'm gonna keep it that way the lid goes on reeds go in beautiful and then last but not least from zara home they sell these fujifilm cameras in stacks minis and i also picked up some black and white film some monochrome film and this is just the regular color film i've wanted one of these for so long and i thought you know what i'm just going to treat myself it's a good idea to maybe ask for for like a birthday gift christmas because christmas has just gone because my birthday's just gone i figured you know what i'm just gonna treat myself oh it would have been a good valentine's day gift although it's a bit extreme for a valentine's day gift isn't it because they are like over 100 pounds <gasps> what do we think do i look the part i love it i just wanted some real kind of polaroid photos that i can even maybe um pop in some frames so that's very exciting can't wait to have a play around with that my new little gadget toy i'm so excited so without further ado i feel like i need to just clean up this little bit of a mess that i've just made and without further ado let's walk you through the updates i'm going to start with upstairs and then show you what downstairs is looking like with the plans down there as well okay so starting from coming up from downstairs we have the corridor which we decided to half panel we will obviously be continuing the paneling down the stairs once downstairs is renovated finishing off the skirts replacing the old carpet with this one etc etc but for now we've just kind of panelled this half of the corridor we have our bathroom in here which again You'll see all these snagging issues, things that need sorting out like this needs properly wiring in through here and then into there so that there's not a wire hanging loose because currently my bathroom, we can't close the door because of that wire, but it does mean that our tiles are heated. So I'd rather just, I mean, it's only me and Tom, I'd rather just have the door open, have it plugged in so that the tiles are nice and toasty on my feet. So on the back of this door, we've just got this door hook, which I got from zara home and um, these towels as well from magic linen are beautiful so i like to have these ones on display as well just close the toilet lid for aesthetic purposes so this is my bathroom or the main bathroom and obviously i have my nice bath tray from the white company this is from in fact you know what i can't go too in depth depth with everything or else this video will be three hours long i'll probably do individual room tours with before and afters and everything and the process maybe in separate videos if that's something you're interested in so i'll just kind of highlight a few key points these tiles are from mandarin stone love these tiles so much they are pretty big and then we've got the nice walk-in shower here which if you remember this used to just be one room and we knocked into this bedroom so that we could have this pretty large walk-in spa like hotel like shower and then the countertop sink mirror is from zara home as well that's from zara home this stool is from robinson interiors a local company which i love and then this is from the white company that i got for christmas and then this is my filming room this is complete reality that you're going to see here Half the time there's always going to be boxes in here, incoming deliveries, PR stuff, but that's why I wanted a dedicated space to be able to just sort through it and have this huge mirror as well. This mirror is from William Wood Mirrors, fairly affordable and reasonably priced for the size of it. And then I've got my little yoga station here. This chest of drawers is mainly for like camera equipment, PR stuff and spares in terms of beauty. I really wanna style up this for backdrop for videos. So that is to do another day. My beautiful big urn, which again is from Robinson Interiors with some pampas grass, wardrobe is Ikea. 
we've got the column style radiators running throughout all of upstairs and we're going to go underfloor heating downstairs this is the state of our garden currently we cleared it all out again if you remember the garden was fairly chock-a-block with um, overgrown weeds and everything we've just cordoned this bit off so Barney doesn't run over there where there's bricks and probably glass and all sorts so that is the garden this is my filming room other side to it whereby I have decided to go with one feature wall for the paneling to kind of continually run throughout there the doors that we went for as well I wanted the two panel doors to kind of fit in with the paneling as well all the fixtures and fittings are from uh, Corston these are from along with the antique brass these age more over time and I love the toggle switch love that so that again that's from Corston so moving on through the corridor into our master bedroom we get quite a lot of questions on the wall color that we've got in here we've decided to go for a slightly different tone we've gone for lick paints in beige 01 and the paneling on this side along with the other as well, which if I turn you around, ta-da, fits in again with the paneling in the corridor there. So this is what this wall looks like. We've got some chest drawers here. These um, Zara linen laundry bags are lovely. They've got lights and darks written on the bottom there. Again, this vase is from Robinson Interiors. Just got some candles, a book. Again, another area that I really want to style up. And this is our bed that we got from the Cotswold, I think it's called the Cotswold Bed Company or the Cotswold Company. The drawers are from Ikea. This is how our bedroom looks. We are going to be replacing this wardrobe at some point because we don't feel like it fits the space. But again, that's just one of those many things to add to the snagging list. I'm just going to show you this from Corston as well. They've got the toggle, but they've also got the dimmable switches. I just love them so much. And then moving on through here, we have the steps up to Tom's room. We also have in here the spare bedroom, which I currently have set out as if we're having gas, which we're not. But I just love having the kind of towels on display in here just to make it feel like a bit of a guest suite, bit of a hotel room. We've got the column style radiators in here again. This is one of my favorite areas that I've styled up already and it was probably one of the first to style up. Again, this is from William Wood Mirrors and um, these chest drawers are from Ikea. They're called the Hemnes range. Yet another thing to add to our list of things to do. We were intending on putting a sliding door here. So that's something that we need to get done. And then in here we just have the small sink, toilet and corner shower in here because very rarely gets used. Of course, I like to have the guests supplied with molten brown and some white company jars that I actually created. They're just the free white company stickers that you get with the gift wrap option. More molten brown on the sink. Spare toothbrushes, should you have forgotten them, and little aftershaves. <laughs> Okay, let's head on upstairs now. Again, we continued the half panelling up the stairs. We actually kept the original staircase and just sanded it back, but there are still a few like little nicks here and there, but kind of adds to the character. Once we've renovated downstairs, we are going to get painted and decorated back in just to finish off everything. And at that point, we're probably gonna go with a black spindle. No, black banister, white spindles. I think, I think that's the plan. So then up here we have what is Tom's floor, Tom's office, Tom's walking wardrobe. He's having a bit of a clear out at the minute and sort through stuff. So it is a mess. However, that's no excuse. It's always a mess in here because it's Tom's room. This is why I wanted him to have his own space to lock away his mess. Barney's little bed and blanket from Aldi. If he ever comes up here whilst Tom's working and I'm not at home, this is the sort of clear out and organize he's going through. We're going through the basement at the minute, so we've got stuff that we're bringing up to sort out. He has a bit of a workout station. He has a standing desk. He has the um, drawers which are all open. I mean, he's a messy, he's a mucky pup, but I have to admit a lot of this is stuff that's come up from the basement for him to sort out. It's not usually this untidy. And that is his kind of wardrobe that was fitted by the joiner to, um, have it kind of like as an inbuilt thing they're from ikea and then in here we've got the eve storage which again is more stuff from the basement coming up to sort through and then tom's bathroom has the walk-in kind of shower with the green tiles the forest green tiles which i love 
I still love to this day, but we still have a few finishing touches to do in here, like the light up mirror, the electrician needs to come back and fit that along with the fan and the hatch as well that's on order to be able to lock up that loft section there. This is what his bathroom is looking like. So that is where we're pretty much at with the upstairs. Like I said, a few little snaggy things that need finishing off like this, for instance, we need the smart meter thing fitted there, but there's stuff that and um, the thing needs sorting. It's things that actually, we, some of them we can't do until downstairs is renovated, till it's properly fully wired up and everything. So anyway, yeah, it's a working progress and it's gonna be for another year or two, but bear with, bear with. I mean, let's go down to the dark zone now where it's still pre-renovations, pre-doing anything to it. This is our sort of front door section. We still have obviously the original carpet, door in and everything. This doesn't even have glass in it. Removal men broke that, oh gosh. There is a bit of glass there though, we have to be careful with that. Uh, so we just leave that open to be honest. And then from this angle you can see the stairs leading on upstairs to the haven that is already renovated. And then downstairs is pretty dark and dingy and dismal and chaotic, but I'll show you regardless. This has been pretty much our kind of storage room. We've got these drawers that need organizing and then these bits need to kind of go within the drawers so these are things that we're maybe keeping for our future renovations things that are like not really stuff that you can keep upstairs and just random bits of bob's shoes and all sorts coming up from the basement storage as well because again we're looking to hopefully start the basement renovations pronto so we've had to kind of empty and clear that out so that it's ready for them to go um yeah again more storage cricket stuff hoover these doors into the garden we never open but it's quite nice having them but eventually this will all come down and we'll be extending to the full side and back so this won't even exist in the future and then leading down here basement is as it was as is that toilet which is never in use maybe the odd builder might use it but we just don't go in there and then in here we have what is our laundry station we dry all our clothes in here and as you can see we spray painted everything white if you remember before it was kind of green and pink so when we first came in we just sprayed everything white put in a really new cheap carpet knowing that we'd be here for a good year which we have we've been in this house over a year now so we wanted the, this room in use so we just wanted a clean carpet and uh, but as you can see obviously you can see all the texture of the wallpaper and everything from afar it's just nice and white and bright though so that's all that we really need i've had to box up this window because single pane and scaffolders wasn't a great mix smashed through so we boarded that up um, but apart from that in here it's pretty much storage of like christmas decorations Christmas trees over there. We've got our kind of everyday coat rack in here because it is nice and warm with us having the radiator on in here for drying our clothes. Just went out and bought some more storage boxes recently to again help me with sorting out and clearing through stuff. Suitcases and things down there as well. Autumn decorations, just, just all sorts. I've got some stuff to go to the dry cleaning as well. So then back through here, got my sad looking dusty piano that one day will hopefully have a home same with tom's artwork uh basement don't even need to show you down there it's just as it was and then down here um we have what is our kind of living room which again it's definitely not perfect i mean look we can see all the electric wires coming through from upstairs having rewired it all up there but when we first moved in we sprayed everything white yet again put down these fresh carpets and this fresh vinyl i've got a whole budget kitchen makeover on a budget video that i did for in here so i'll leave that linked along with our empty house tour for if you want to see the entire house beforehand but for now this is what our living room is looking like just plain and simple since the tree's gone we did have Barney's bed down here but we've just moved it to under the window he likes to pop his head through the curtains and be our guard dog and keep an eye out on the community um yeah we've just got our sofa which we will re be replacing in the future we went to loaf recently and had a sit down on some and omg cannot wait for that day got a mirror just to brighten things up a little bit and open up the room tv Fun fact, we don't even have an aerial, so we actually just use Now TV. And then our kitchen is as it was pretty much within that kitchen makeover on a budget video. We've got Barney's little dog station with his 
leads and towels, grooming stuff, treats and toys in there and biscuits. So now that I've kind of given you an overview, just briefly what our plans are to get going with. First is the um, basement. We are going to be renovating the basement into a utility dog wash room, a storage room, a gym, and then there's a couple of smaller rooms, one of which will be a bathroom and the other one will be like a wine cellar type thing, hopefully, or some kind of storage room. And then in terms of the side extension side and back wraparound extension that we're doing to open it up and inside here will be um, kind of a dining living in here and then the main kitchen living at the back will be all brand new doors onto the garden that kind of thing that is more of a long-term goal a because we're waiting on planning permission still to be approved and b it's expensive which is fine we're ready to go but we just it's going to be a big project and it's going to be one that we want to get done hopefully potentially if we get if we hear back from planning permission hopefully throughout all of the summer months into autumn and maybe early winter that we're hoping to get all of that kick-started at least um but the basement again is something that we can maybe get going with hopefully beforehand and we can get started on that straight away so yeah i'm going to take you back upstairs now whereby i'm going to share with you some of the home sense bits in fact i'm gonna to have to grab myself a coffee first let's fuel this afternoon up pause this video if you haven't already and make yourself a cuppa get some bickies why not and let's head on upstairs <sighs> and chill coffee in hand ready to share with you some of the homeware bits that i've been picking up recently um, i'm gonna start with Firstly, sip of coffee. Let's start with the biggest purchase I've made recently. It was actually with a gift voucher that I got for my birthday from the White Company, and it is a new lamp. So, I mean, you can't really see what it looks like in the box. There is actually an image on this side though. So I will show you what that looks like. It's called the Pimlico lamp. And if you can see that it's got like a linen shade with a glass outer so i'm gonna get that out of the box and put somewhere i haven't decided a home for it yet i'm thinking either in here or the bedroom so we can try and find a place for that together in a second um been to home since recently also john lewis actually i picked up these in the clearance which i thought were a mega bargain they had loads they must have had like a huge job lot that they were just trying to get rid of or something they were reduced to clear from five pounds down to two. In each one, you get a set of two tea towels. They're just a really nice cream waffle knit tea towel, which I thought would be a great kind of everyday tea towels this color. Do you get trash pretty quick? So I thought I would stockpile by getting four tea towels in total. I also obviously, like I said, went to HomeSense, picked up loads of bits. The first one sticking out here is from Emma Bridgewater. And they have so many gift wrap, gift boxes in home sets now. And I thought I decided to pick up this to add to my ever-growing collection of gift wrap, gift bags, spare gift cards that I like to stockpile within my gift wrap bag that I bought from Amazon. Honestly, best purchase ever. Um, so this I thought was a good kind of generic birthday, Christmas wrapping paper. The fact that it's got blue stars on makes it kind of boy appropriate but also i would happily receive a gift with this gift wrap so and it's for me it's like obviously emma bridgewater they had more to choose from though so this was rrp of four pound fifty reduced to 2.99 not the biggest saving but a saving nonetheless and every little helps i also picked up this now this is quite expensive for me to buy a reed diffuser from home sense at 29.99 the rrp of this is 40 pounds so again you get 10 pounds saving on this i did have a little look online and urban apothecary london sell these candles reed diffusers they look beautiful and this one is in the scent vine tomato which i thought would be lovely in a kitchen so i'm actually going to open it so you can see what the bottle looks like that's the only thing like in store when it's wrapped in cellophane in home sense tk max there's no kind of testers or like you can't see or what it's going to look like or what it smells like so it's a bit of a risk hence why i very rarely spend 30 quid on a reed diffuser from home sense but 
From looking online at what these look like, I think they look really kind of minimal in design. This is the actual little kind of pot with the liquid in, as you can see, vine tomato. I think there's something about a toma tomato, vine tomato scent that neutralizes kitchen odors unless I'm just making that up. Um, the reeds are thick black reeds and then the actual pot that you decant it into looks like so. So it's just a plain black, this is what I liked, the fact that I Googled it and could see what they look like online um, made me happy to purchase it knowing that it's neutral. It looks really nice, it looks really expensive. It is glass and I think you can buy these refills as well online or in home sense so yeah i'm gonna pop this one in our kitchen i can't wait to in fact i was gonna say i can't wait to smell it but should we smell it now oh, oh my goodness oh i love that it's a real herby kitcheny fresh smells like the garden smells like spring Beautiful scent, that one. I'm really happy with that. I picked up some spare cloths. I'm gonna have a bit of a clear out of my cleaning cupboard, clean cloths. Bit of an update, a bit of a refresh, and Home Sense and TK Maxx always have the nice neutral colours for cleaning cloths and cleaning products. So they've got these bamboo naturals super absorbent kitchen sponges at 2 dollars for a set of three. And then I got um, these are in two packs, they're called kitchen cloths at 2 dollars for a set of two. I just thought these would be really handy and the fact they've got the little loop as well, you can pop them on the inside of the cupboards to just hang there so you've got them to hand. I just love the, the texture of these, the fabric, the look, the color, everything. So I did stock up on these to use as dust cloths, wiping our surfaces with the flora. So now I have a set of six of these. And then what else did I get? Oh, I got a couple of bits for Valentine's, $2.99. There's nothing in there. And a gift card for Tom. We have this little inside joke with Mr. Perfect. So um, £1.49 that one was. I got this for our kitchen. I had a recent sort through of our kitchen utensils drawer and our can opener is pants. It does not work. It's not very good. And I saw this one, it's kind of like an antique brushed gold. They did have a yellowy gold as well. It feels really heavy, so I'm hoping it's gonna be, yeah, it even says it, sturdy. <laughs> this was 7 dollars retails for 22 pounds, this one. So I'm feeling like it's gonna be a good one that actually works, unlike our current one. I think there's someone at the front door. He's on the phone whilst he's delivering this. So, so good having a doorbell that you can, um, that's got a camera on it and you can see. Anyway, moving on, I picked up this. You guys know I've been after like a first aid kit or something to put within our one of our kitchen cupboards for a while. And I spotted this one at 12 99 and it's just a little white tin that says ouch on the top. Now this does have a little mark on it, which, is a bit annoying and I'm sure it will brush off, but the top is just a little bit marked. I'm sure it will not brush off, wipe off, but if not, failing that, she did say um, that she could take the price down to eight pounds for me. And I thought, well, I prefer to pay full price for a non-marked one, but you know, I can't turn down a deal. It's just not in my blood. So inside there is a little compartment on top and then within the bottom section, as you can see, it's sectioned off, which will make it really handy for storing sort of plasters, medicines. It's gonna be more of like a first aid kit, that one, but anyway. I also picked up a candle. They had loads of these in from this uh, brand called Black Maison Queer Fumé, which translates to like smoked leather in French, that's what that means. Its notes are saffron, raspberry thyme, leather suede and woody notes. And I love the smell of this. They did have another one or two scents, I can't remember. This one was by far my favorite. I just love that kind of smoky, woody scent. So I'm almost out of my White Company winter candle down in our kitchen, so I might like this one next and let me i'm just trying to get it out of the box there we go i wanted to actually show you what it looks like so this is the candle itself in a black 
glass jar, but it also, the candle itself is black. It smells so good. I'm actually regretting not picking up more of these. They did have loads in though, so hopefully they'll have them when I next go back in. So they're $9.99. Oh my God, I totally forgot. I put these in here. I ran into B&M for some bits for the dog. And I picked up these en route out. Mini Eggs is back already. I mean, I do love Easter chocolate, but Mini Eggs chocolate bar is so delicious. I obviously went for the standard Mini Eggs as well. Seems as though they were right there staring me in the face. And then these as well. I don't remember these from last year. Correct me if I'm wrong if they were, but I can't remember them. White chocolate bunnies. I love the Maltesers bunnies anyway. The fact that they now do them in white chocolate. It's just an added bonus. But anyway, I didn't realise these were in that bag. So that was a real treat to just find them. So next up, I got this, which again, because it was sealed up, I couldn't see what it was like. I couldn't smell it, which is a bit annoying, but it's the Serenity or in Serenity, a ceramic scent stone kit, which includes 10 mils of Serenity scent spray. It was reducing the clearance from 15 pounds down to four. So I thought I would try it out. I mean, for the sake of four pounds, I need some scissors. I have no idea what to expect from this. It's a unique product that scents and decorates small spaces. A scent stone can be used in wardrobes, cars, or as scented decorations. You can put room sprays on it, fragrance, or essential oils, or even just your favorite perfume to refresh a space in your home. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is the actual uh, stone with the hanging ribbon. Can you see there? Oh, it's actually got a little decoration on it. So this is the spray that comes with it, but like it says, you can put your favorite perfume on, essential oils. I also picked up, last but not least, a book. I love a good coffee table book. And when you find a good one, there's one up there that you might not be able to see, Eat, Drink, Nap. In fact, let me go grab it. I did actually see this in there, but obviously I've already got it. I've already got two of these. I love them so much. It is $19.99 in uh, TK Maxx or HomeSense from, it's the Soho House. Eat, drink, nap, bringing the house home, which has some recipes. It has cocktail recipes, got bits about the like home and interiors in spo. This is the book that I picked up this time round. Again, $19.99 this one was. RRP of this is £30. I've seen this on Amazon and been very tempted to purchase it, um, but it's quite hard sometimes on Amazon to tell the size of a book. So when I saw this in store, I did really like it. So I thought I'd pick it up anyway. It's the Kim Folk Home Interiors for Slow Living. It's New York Times bestseller. Oh, I need scissors again. <laughs> One sec. The reason why I want to get this open to show you is the actual cover itself because it's got one of these paper covers on. If you wanted to take it off, it's a really beautiful book underneath. It's just a super simple stone colored book that just has embossed the kinfolk home on it and then on the binder it's black writing so i actually quite like this book without that paper cover on and that's what i'd seen online and i thought oh yeah i do really like the look of that so that's what that is the actual book itself just again has loads of home interiors oh i just spotted a dog there as well home interiors inspo that's everything i picked up that's all my kind of home updates where we're at right now with the house i hope that it's helped kind of bring you up to speed with things and what we have planned. Hopefully we'll get going with the next part of the renovation series here on my YouTube channel very soon. I think the thing I'm most excited for, honestly, is to get the basement sorted. Obviously the extension's exciting too, but the basement for me is gonna be an everyday use, that utility room I just can't wait for. So. That is where we're at. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Oh, I was about to outro it, but I actually want to put that um, table lamp somewhere. And I feel like I might as well show you guys where it goes. light bulb for this so we're just gonna have to get the gist of what it's gonna look like we might have one downstairs actually I think I'm definitely gonna put this in our bedroom because I thought this lampshade was gonna be more of like a linen-y stone color but it's actually a true white 
which in here the walls are quite white well the walls are white whereas our bedroom it will contrast nicer in there So for now, I've popped this lamp on top of this chest of drawers because of the white lampshade. It just contrasts nicely against the beige 01 uh, paint from Lick on the walls. So yeah, I feel like I definitely need to style up this space a little bit better, but this is going to be the space for the lamp. I feel like it just fits nicely. Oh no, there's a mark. Hmm. I mean, I do need to put a light bulb in here and actually st style it up properly, but I do love the just plain and simple glass of this. It is kind of a bronzy gunmetal finish as opposed to like a true black, but that's fine because our lights in here, the wall lights, if you can see, they are also a, I mean, they look black on camera, but they are also like a bronze metal. And the same goes for our handles and also the door stop there. These handles are actually bronze. They're from Corsten and the hinge, I don't know why it's stuck like that, the hinges and fixtures are all true black, so you can see there's virtually no difference, but it is an aged bronze. So the fact that the lamp is kind of more of like a metal finish like that, I actually think works quite nicely in this room. So they are all of our house updates. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you feel a bit more up to date with what we've got going on and excited for our plans to renovate. I am so excited to get going with the next phase for our renovation series, which of course we will be documenting here on YouTube. So stay tuned for that by subscribing so you don't miss out. Do give this video a thumbs up if you like the homeware kind of content. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.